Well, the weather could also impact air travel as it's expected to be a very busy day in our area's biggest airports for the holiday getaway this weekend. Uh, News 12's Tony Caputo is actually finding out from Newark Liberty International Airport that it's already having an impact. Uh, you're seeing some, you're hearing from passengers this morning about this, right, Tony? You know, it's, it's a headache for a lot of folks, no doubt. We're constantly updating these delays and cancellations for you just so you have an idea of what you're in store for. And obviously, if your flight has been canceled, you don't want to come all the way to the airport to find that out. Just went inside. The board is, uh, you know, filled with delays, cancellations here in Newark. 28 delays, 144 cancellations at last check. That's a lot. JFK, 33 delays, 14 cancellations. LaGuardia has 10 delays, 23 cancellations. Down in Philly, if you're heading down that way, 14 delays, 14 cancellations. It's for a variety of reasons. Uh, key, extra time. If you're delayed, still get here early, get through security. I know, we all fly. It stinks sitting there waiting and then wait, seeing a delay. I get it. But getting through security and being able to wait is better than having to try and rush through security, which you will not be able to do. Parking might be an issue as well as we look around the lots here outside Terminal B. More and more space is getting used up. Newark says if you didn't pre-plan a parking spot, better to take mass transit or just get dropped off. Talked to a gentleman this morning flying back to Maine, wanted to fly last night. That was canceled. He said it's because they were doing construction on a runway in Portland. It doesn't have the flight control system, so if they can't get in there early enough, they shut us down. So we sat out here on the runway probably for an hour and a half combined last night between my connection coming in and trying to get back out. And it's been crazy these last couple weeks. It's been tough for him traveling those couple of weeks, like he said, and for a lot of folks. And if you're planning on trying to fly somewhere this summer, you're going to pay more. And it's going to be more difficult to book. That's according to the travel experts. AAA telling us yesterday that so many more people want to get away this summer. And you can certainly understand that with COVID. But again, if you haven't already booked it, it could cost you a lot more. That's the latest from Newark Liberty International Airport. Tony Caputo, News 12, New Jersey.